John Gill's Exposition of the Bible Text And thou shalt put all in the hands of Aaron, and in the hands of his sons, and shalt wave them for a wave offering before the Lord. Exodus 29-24 Commentary And thou shalt put all in the hands of Aaron, and in the hands of his sons. Which accounts for the use of the phrase, filling the hand for consecration, Exodus 29-9, for all the above things of the ram, bread, cakes, and wafers, were put into their hands when consecrated, denoting their investiture with their office. All things are in the hands of Christ, relative to the glory of God and the good of his people, their persons are in his hands, and all grace and blessings of it for them, a commission to execute his office as a priest is given to him, and as it was proper that he also should have somewhat to offer, his hands are filled, and he has a sufficiency for that purpose as Aaron and his sons had, Hebrews 8 3. And shalt wave them for a wave offering before the Lord, which was waved or shook to and fro, from east to west, and from north to south, to or before him, as Jarki observes, whose are the four winds of the world, and this was done by Moses and Aaron also, for, according to the same writer, both were employed in waving, both the owners and the priest, how, the priest put his hand under the hand of the owner and waved, and in this Aaron and his sons were the owners and Moses the priest.